Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Sweden. Um, today I have a little project that I'm going to do and you need only a few things nice for uh, if you're in the outdoors and you have uh, nothing to do. So you go to the hardware store and you just buy a blade, a saw blade. This one happens to have holes, sometimes you have them with pins or whatever but you just buy one of these and you get yourself a small stick so you can make little pins to put in and another big stick and we're gonna cut that up in pieces and we're gonna make a buck saw or a tension saw I don't know what it's called but uh, two side pieces one piece here with a with a rope to make tension and uh, we're gonna put that together and see if that works yeah so we're just gonna cut up this and show you the, the layout and then we get to work all right okay uh, so we cut uh, the pieces as you can see we have uh, the blade and it has pins in it so that's gonna go behind the it's gonna go through and then behind same on the other side and the block in the middle we have to cut some uh, notches there and something to make it stick together and of course the the tension rope here and we need a piece of wood to uh, turn that and flip that and, and jam it behind uh, the thing there and then we have our uh, handmade cheap wood saw Okay, so we finished all the parts for the from the for the saw, and uh, let's have a closer look at all the parts. So uh, we start with uh, so this is the whole thing. Uh, we start with the saw blade. We'll put it all together later. But um, so especially important is when you make the the sticks to prevent it from slipping out that you make this of hardwood. So this is a piece of hardwood that we used uh, because it really needs to. Uh, be strong enough and uh, not deteriorate over time so I used a little bit of hardwood there yeah so you just put a little spike through the holes in this case now if you don't have the spikes you can use a, a bolt or maybe a screw or something else that you can jam in it uh, to prevent it from slipping yeah so that's uh, the blade um, then let's start at the middle part um, let's look at one of the ends uh, so I needed a, a way to put this together. Now I just flattened it, as you can see, both sides. It is just flattened off like a like a, a spoon almost, and then I cut out a little piece at the point. So at the other sticks, as you can see, I just made a notch, and that notch I made a little bit narrow so that it kind of like a fork that would fit in there with a little bit of play here. So it allows for a little bit of adjusting when you tension the saw. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of ways to do this and there are a lot of better ways to do this. But this is what I just came up with as a simple solution. Um, at the bottom here, I just used a, a Victorinox saw blade and I made a cut so that the saw blade would fit in, as you can see it would fit in and I made uh, a little notch as well rounded so that the piece of wood would fit in there so it keeps it in place yeah all right so that is that part it's all very basic and then at the top I also made some uh, notches here to accommodate for the rope so that it won't slip out yeah so these two are basically mirror images of each other and you have to make sure that that is all at a 90 degree angle so the saw blade is like this and the notches are in the same direction and then of course you have the notches there and the rope on the other side so that you keep that nice and mirrored yeah and then of course um, you need a rope I just used a little bit of uh, guideline or uh, what is this paracord and uh, you need a stick to tension the saw <laughs> that can just be a basic stick all right so I'll put it back together again um, so you can do it like this it's easy if you do it on the floor you just put the saw blade in and maybe you can keep this together but you can also use it as an assembly saw you put the the other one in between and then of course your rope 
that's gonna make uh, the tension as you can see it's too long but if you just roll it up a little you know you don't have to be uh, like so and then of course you need to roll this up yep almost yep and you just leave it behind there then you you wiggle a little bit just to get it in the shape that you want maybe one more yeah and then oh I can see that this is not not right yeah needs to fall in there one more and the saw blade is finished let's uh, try it out well here's a nice trunk it's really big not that I'm gonna saw through it completely but just for the idea all right that's a bit unhandy but for the safety as you can see it will go through a very nice very cheap solution nice little project to do in the woods or maybe uh, at the at the cabin or something you just buy a blade at the hardware store and you put it together like this and you have a nice uh, whittling project for uh, the campfire etc yep all right thanks for watching and see you next time